I think for Liverpool, um, I think my first goal, it was against uh, Rochdale in the, was it the FA Cup? Might have been the FA Cup, but it was cop end. And uh, I think it's always special when you score cop end, certainly your first goal with all your families there. So, yeah, I think the first goal against Rochdale for Liverpool, cop end was special. I think if you ask me, my favourite goal of all time that I scored was a goal I scored for the Republic of Ireland against Holland. Uh, it was a World Cup qualifier and the Dutch came to Lansdowne Road and it was a, just a matter of how many goals they were going to score against us but I, uh, I stepped up and scored the winner. We won 1-0 and we knocked Holland out the World Cup so it was very, very special. Oh it's, oh, it's amazing. I think growing up as a kid and being a Liverpool fan, living across the water on the Wirral there, um, you know, Kenny Daglish was my hero. I was always Kenny in the park playing as a kid, sort of 12, 13. Aspiring to be a Liverpool player like every young kid is. And when you get the opportunity to play for Liverpool, it is a dream come true. And I think the first time you put that Liverpool jersey on, it's, it's a bit like, I always think it, it, it must be like what Batman feels when he puts his suit on or Superman. It's kind of like you get this feeling of, I don't know what it is, invincibility really. You feel 10 foot tall. You look around and you just you feel like the legacy of the football club is, is inside that dressing room. You go out and play, obviously with my team was Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman. You've always got a chance of winning the game, but just to wear the shirt and the badge, you know, the, the real shirt. I know we can all buy the replica shirt, but when you put the actual football shirt on, the one you're playing, it's something special. Well, I was really late coming into football. I was 20 years old, so I was a little bit sort of against the grain. Nowadays the academies from six and seven, they come through and they progress into um, into apprenticeships and then get their I don't know, first team contract or a, or a profess professional contract at about 18. I was 20 years old when I signed professional, so I was really, really late. So I studied, um, I was really good at art in, in school. I went to college for four years, studied graphic design. So I, I would probably, I'd probably be a graphic designer, although I was rubbish. I probably, that was the only thing I knew. So it was either graphic design or I wanted to be a PE teacher. So I might have, I might have been a PE teacher. Obviously to be a professional footballer, I think everyone just thinks that you, you're given this contract and, and away you go and you see, you see them like on a Saturday or a, or a Wednesday or whenever, Monday night as it was last night. And everyone thinks that they just roll out and play, but there's a lot of hard work behind the training, the diet, the, the dedication, staying in, staying away from girls if you're a young lad. Um, obviously there's, there's a big social scene because the lads will have friends around the same age, you'll be going out and partying and drinking, you know, that's what youngsters do and people in the 20s. So you've got to have a lot of dedication and, and willpower to stay in, stay away from all them things that can sort of harm your body really. So, but training can be tough. You know, you train all week for um, for the game, for the 90 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of running involved, a lot of weight circuits. Diet plays a big part in, in the modern day game now. So I'd just say a lot of dedication and, and hard work, really. Like I said before, I think growing up as a Liverpool fan, you know, to sign for this club was, was a dream come true. Certainly, like I said, playing at 20 years old, I was playing non-league football, signed my first professional contract. You never really, although the dream is to play for Liverpool, you never really think you're going to aspire to, to actually reach them heights. So when the phone call comes and they want your signature, you know, that is, I can't tell you what that feeling is like, it's amazing. And then obviously then you go into the dressing room, you put the shirt on, you play your first game. And then um, just, to, just to have a career at Liverpool was just probably the highlight of my career really. It was just, it was amazing. Well, I actually signed for Liverpool as a centre midfielder and John Barnes and Jamie Redknapp were playing in the centre midfield at the time and I think the idea was John was going to be eased out um, and I was going to slot in alongside Jamie. Roy Evans was putting a very young team together at the time. And then Rob Jones got injured. Um, he was playing on the right. He was a right back at the time. He got injured and Roy Evans wanted to change the formation. He wanted to play three at the back. Probably what you would recognise uh, Conte playing with Italy or with Chelsea now, uh, it was that system. So that, what that means is you play three defenders at the back and then what is really your right back and your left back, they sort of play um, the kind of play as midfielders but with a defensive 
duty as well. So they're, they're called wing backs. And um, I think a wing back's attributes have to be extremely fit. You'd have to be able to get up and down the pitch. You'd have to be able to defend, but you'd also have to have an awareness to attack and get up um, sort of offensively as well. So, you know, I was, I was made for that position. I had a really good engine. So I slotted in on the right hand side for Rob Jones, who was injured, and Stig Bjornaby was on the left hand side. He swapped with Rob Jones when Rob was injured. Um, and I played predominantly as a, as a right wing back. So I never actually played in centre midfield where I was supposed to supposed to play and, and uh, where Roy had sort of had, had me down, penciled in to sort of take over from John. I kind of made my niche on, on as a wing back. It was a successful time for us. Uh, we got to the cup final. Um, we were always challenging for the league title. So there was no reason why to change it. So uh, yeah, I was a wing back really.